Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. William Ruto is coming out to commit a blunder. And when I was looking at the news, is that William Ruto has just come out to appoint the environmentalist, Patrick, as UN's vice chancellor. The question is, Patrick is a foreigner. And the existing vice chancellor of Nairobi is a Kenyan. But what you are looking at William Ruto's statement day in, day out, is that people are not having jobs. Why are you coming out to create a job for a foreigner and appointing him as a vice chancellor of Nairobi University, yet we have our own who can be the vice chancellor of Nairobi University? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not liked this video, please do me a favor, ensure you like this video. And also, when you like this video, you always support the work of this channel and don't forget to like this video please ensure you like this video when you like this video you automatically support the work of this channel and of course we are going to be recommended in youtube platform and those who are visitor for the first time please consider subscribing to this channel you like you give your opinion at the comment section below and don't forget to share this video william ruto came out during the campaign that the people of Kenya must enjoy the fruit of employment. I never knew that William Ruto was going to be someone who literally thinks about his interest only. When I saw him coming out to appoint a foreigner, a foreigner to come and be the vice chancellor of Nairobi University, it is not good at all. Is there a kind of interest that William Root is having with this man? In Sasa Mekwa appointed to be the vice chancellor of Nairobi University. I know some people might come out to say, then what is the problem with William Ruto coming out to appoint the foreigner to be the vice chancellor of Nairobi, Nairobi University? Then our people, our people are being told, Nini kazi yenyu ni mjengo na kubeba mawe. We have those who are having degrees. They are having PhDs. They are being given, maybe sometimes, jobs kwa hizo sites za mjengo. Then William Root is coming out to employ a foreigner to be a vice chancellor of Nairobi University. You want to tell me we don't have professors who can be the uh, who can be the vice chancellor of Nairobi University? Back home, tunatafuta tunatafutiwa kazi ya mjengo and exported to be laborers abroad. Yani watu yetu ni kazi ya mjengo wafanye kazi ya mjengo, then others wanakuwa exported to offer labor in other countries. But foreigners wanna pay our post jobs in our own motherland and tax cuts while residents to nafinyelewa. Freedom has surely come for the hustlers, and this was what William Ruto came out saying. We never knew that it was going to be so. I'm not saying that William Ruto should come out and appoint a hustler when you are at soma and a quiver's cancellor. But I want to ask you, we have those who have been educated, you know, we have even some people having PhDs, even those who qualify to be the vice chancellor, they cannot find another a Kenyan. Is this how we are going with as a country? But now some people are coming out to argue like this. That they don't see any problem. They don't see any problem with William Ruto appointing the foreigner. 
Because also we have our own who are also having jobs outside the country. But I want to tell you one thing. Yes, they are having jobs outside the country. Is it good enough for us to be convinced that we don't have people who can come out to be the vice council of Nairobi University? They re it is so painful for me, sincerely speaking as a Kenyan. For example, you will hear that a principal of maybe Alliance, uh, uh, Alliance Boys, Nemuzungu, it will be so painful if today, today I will hear that Kapsabet Boys or Kapsabet Girls, the principal there, is a foreigner. You want to tell me we don't have teachers who can be promoted to be principals? We don't have we don't have Kenyans. Walimu hapa kutoka Kenya waneza promotiwa kwa principals. I think this is a, re, a retrogressive appointment. This is a retrogressive appointment. There are many able, deserving Kenyans who can steer the University of Nairobi. Why are you showing us? Or rather, William Ruto is securing, securing his interest. Now, what do you want to do? Ni juzi tu, huyu jamaa, mwenye nao amekua appointed. Kwa vice chancellor of Nairobi University, alikuwa state house. The same same man William Ruto came out say in status. Alituamia kama hatuuni kazi anafanya tutafute inchi ingine ya kuishi. Tuwame Kenya. Hiyo haikuwa na comeback. But again, an institution of higher learning is for intellectuals, nationality. For us to have that face that we have our own, we must have our own to be the vice chancellor of Nairobi. That is my request. You cannot convince me at Sasa Wakina Amina Walikwa appointed kwa vice chancellor of Shule Zengine Inje. Wengine Kama Nyani. Wengi wame appointed our cabinet minister so Uhuru Mage Kenyatta. Uyo cabinet minister wa, wa ICT. I think he's called Joe Musheru, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. He has been appointed outside the country. Amina Muhammad has been also appointed outside the country. We have several of them. But again, what we need, we have those intellectuals who can understand how Nairobi University can be controlled. You cannot tell us just the other day, we Muzunga status, just the other day. Then William Muta Nakuja Kwa after kumuwa point, anareplace replace after uyu jama yetu mkenya, hame toka hapo. Wacha mkenya ndi ya kue vice chancellor hapo. Tunaambiwa, atutusiongea kwa sababu, that those who are vice chancellors outside the country, na hawa wa complain. How is complain because they have come out to settle the issue of unemployment. They're trying to, to absorb everyone. But as we speak, we have people who are having degrees, diplomas, certificates. They don't have jobs. Some are just selling roadside goods. But because you are, told, you are being told, kama unaona William Ruto afanyi kazi ya mwenyewa alisema, kama unaona afanyi kazi yake, afanyi kazi, tafuta inchi ingine wende. Na hiyo ni ukoloni, mambo leo. Wa Kenya wafanyi mjengo, but foreigner, apate job. Imagine that kind of uh, experience we are having we as Kenyans. This is a blunder and William Ruto must come out to correct this because enough is enough. We cannot have our people being forced to work in the Mjengo area. Some of them are having degrees, engineers. Some are being exported to be laborers outside the country to benefit just, just to benefit the government of the day. My request is, William Ruto must come out to change this person. We have our own who can be the vice chancellor of Nairobi University. And we don't care. That is the plea we are coming out to say. 
ladies and gentlemen what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of your support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video